Hello everybody, welcome to my tutorial and this is Denise. Today I'll show you how to add a static HTML page to your WordPress website. I'm going to walk you through it, so stick around and follow me. Now as you can see here on the screen, this is my demo site. Okay, I just created this as part of my main domain. So this is the demo.denisonrise.com, that's my subdomain. And for the sake of the tutorial, I created this um, website, okay? So that's it. Now, what we need to do is to add another HTML page in your website. So if you have clients or um, somebody who wants to, to see a specific project or a specific design that you just created, all you have to do is to just send um that uh specific link and then the person will view the entire page or even an entire website through that link okay so what we need to do first is to add a new plugin and that plugin is called w file manager Now install now and activate. Okay, so now that it's activated, let's go to the WP file manager. Okay. Sorry guys, if you can hear some noise because somebody's working upstairs. And um, all right, so what we have to do now is to add a new folder because this folder is where you're going to put your your HTML page. Or if you have other um, files like CSS, PHP, or whatever that is, um, it could be an entire um, website, you will add them to that new folder, okay? So let's just add another folder. Um, Let's name this studio. So you're going to open the studio folder. And then when you open the studio folder, you just have to, um, let me just open. Okay. Let me just drag all the files that I have. Give me a second. Here, all those files and folders. Okay, this one is not actually included, so. <laughs> okay. Okay, now that the the folders and the files are there. You can now check this page or this um, website through the link slash studio. So it's going to be, because as you can see, this is demo.denislamores.com. Now you will just copy this and then slash studio. And there you go, guys. That's the website, the entire website. And you already have the entire website inside your subdomain. Amazing. So that's how easy it is to add a static HTML page or an entire website in your subdomain or in your main domain through or in WordPress. So that's it. I hope this video helps you. If it helps you, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for your time. Have a nice day. See you next time. Ciao.